What is up guys, this is Taylor, um, and I wanna talk about injury today. Let's talk about it, because everybody has some experience with injury. Uh, maybe you're injured right now, maybe you've had an injury in the past, or maybe you have an injury that hasn't happened yet, but you're a ticking time bomb. I hope not. Uh, if you are, check out my maintenance video and uh, audio stuff so that you can prevent that injury. So, injury, let's talk about it. Um, so this is something we deal with a lot at Elevate because we work with people, uh, not because our program is dangerous. We do everything in our, our program that we can to prevent injury, to correct existing injuries, but we work with people. So people come to us with a whole slew of issues that they already have, um, and we have to work with and around those limitations and those injuries. So some of these things are catastrophic, um, or not catastrophic, but I should say they're traumatic, meaning like they got hit by a car or they fell off a motorcycle or like, you know, something serious happened in their life where there was trauma to it, um, not just overuse of, you know, running and jumping every day and they blew out their knee. Um, but we have those too. So there's the whole spectrum that we deal with. And really my, my big point on injury is not so much like how you're going to fix your personal injury. I want, I want to focus more on what do you do uh, if you are injured and what are some ways that you can continue your life uh, while, while injured and you know, waiting it out. So unfortunately, a lot of people that we work with and just people in general, they made the mistake of going to a general physician or a primary care provider with their injury um, to get it diagnosed. And as, you know, as trainers and strength coaches, we're, we're not in a position to diagnose things. We can say kind of like, hey, I've seen this before, it, it may be that, but you know, we have to refer out to medical professionals if there's any kind of real injury that we're worried about. So first thing people do is they go to you know, their physician, but unfortunately their physician is versed in medicine and uh, not so much in exercise, not so much in musculoskeletal issues. That's something that we as coaches deal with on a daily basis. Um, we're dealing with musculoskeletal everything. I mean, that, that is our, our bread and butter. So um, we're teaching people how to get stronger. We understand kind of biomechanics. We understand exercise physiology. And that's not something that physicians really deal with a lot. They're, they're dealing with, okay, well, and no, this is not a knock on medical providers. Um, it's just that's their forte is to provide you with medicine. So when you come in hurt, they're either going to say, here's a medication that I can give you, or take time off. Those are generally the two answers. Some, uh, and this is a blanket statement, so don't go crazy with this, but we see this a lot. Um, so one thing we hear all the time is if you go to a physician or whatever and they say, you know, you're like, uh, yeah, my shoulder's been bugging me. When I lift it over my head, I get kind of a pinching uh, and it's been bothering me. Um, they might try to diagnose it. If they didn't do an MRI, I wouldn't put too much stock into that. But a couple things that piss me off that come from the medical field is one, they go to the cortisone shot. And the cortisone shot, you know, you take it because they're like, oh, well, a doctor's given it to me, so it must be okay. And, you know, this will be a, a temporary fix. And that's all it is it's a band aid. It's going to shut off your pain receptors. It's. It's just masking the problem. It didn't fix anything, it didn't heal anything. It's just like, here, you're not gonna feel this pain for a little while, um, and it's not gonna fix anything, but this will at least get you out of my office for now. And then the second thing they say is rest it for an extended amount of time. Maybe that's a good thing to do in that case, but what this usually equates to is don't do anything, don't exercise, don't use your arm in the case of a shoulder injury uh, for so-and-so weeks or months. Usually this is like six to eight weeks, that's kind of a blanket statement, or three to six months, which is even crazier. But these are CYA cover your ass statements, and it drives me crazy because with you know somebody that we're working with on a regular basis, we know about them, we know their, their mobility limitations, we know probably why it happened, um, maybe they weren't doing the things we asked them to do, maybe it was a freak accident, um, 
but we're in tune with like what their body is capable of and to tell somebody to stop moving their body uh, because of a setback is crazy to me because our body heals based on blood flow and movement and stimulation so if we just let something atrophy I don't see how that's going to make it better now there's certain cases where you definitely need to rest and especially if you get like surgery or something of course we need to rest but there's always a physical therapy component um, which guess what that's just exercise um, it's targeted exercise but it is and you know there there's a healing process that has to take place there's also a whole other body that needs to be used so if one part of my body is injured it doesn't mean i have to stop using the rest and it certainly doesn't mean i have to stop any healthy habits around it and that's what most people you know they start to think oh like well i'm injured i've given up hope i'm gonna start eating cheeseburgers and shit again and uh you know whatever i gotta take time i gotta quit the gym all that stuff that's crazy um, what we need is to refocus so in the case you know i keep saying shoulder so like we'll stick to upper body injury Let's say you really can't use your upper body or it's very limited. Well, guess what? You're gonna get really strong legs for the next couple months, okay? Um, you're gonna get a super strong core for the next couple months. There's other things to work and there's no reason to let your muscle mass deteriorate, let your brain deteriorate because you stop moving. Um, find a way to work around it. If you're working with experienced coaches and trainers, they will know what to do in that situation. And I guess my big point is, as far as fitness professionals go, we really should be the go-to group for these issues. And I'm not talking about traumatic issues. If you tear something or need surgery or something like that, of course, go see a surgeon, get a medical opinion on it. But in terms of you know, getting people back on track and in a lot of cases, rehabilitation, Trainers and coaches, strength coaches, they know so much more than the medical crowd knows. And it's just because it's what we focus on. Like we focus on the physical body um, and physiology and exercise, but we're not focused on medicine and treatment, okay? So um, we should be the go-to for your nutrition, your supplements, your um, anything dealing with your physical body. Like we're the ones you should consult with to get you back on track because we know your capabilities and your limitations. Um, and we have the knowledge base of like providing modifications and exercise options for you to keep things moving. Um, and we're vested too because you're a customer of ours. Nobody training somebody wants to see them get hurt. Um, and we certainly don't want them to stay hurt. So, you know, I, I just anybody out there who's dealing with this, like please trust in your coach, whoever that is, to help you get back on track because they want to see you do that um, and quitting giving up trying to abandon all your progress like it's it's just not a good idea unless it's something you absolutely have to do um, so that was my big point um, as far as injury goes you know like you should be consulting with your your trainers or coaches and uh, yeah that's it so don't let a small setback or an injury stop you from making progress in your your life your aesthetic goals your health goals it doesn't have to happen just you have to refocus and learn from it um, anytime I've been injured I learned so much from it because you end up having to find other routes of progress and you get to kind of do things that maybe you wouldn't have done or maybe you end up doing things that you should have done the whole time like working on your mobility you know working on your imbalances doing things that that are slower and less sexy but so worthwhile and you know that's something that as coaches i think we've all learned from our own injuries and mistakes and things that happened um, whether they were in our control or not that's where we really learn a lot and that's you know it's always kind of a blessing in disguise to to have that happen because um, while it stops you from what you may have wanted to do it makes you do what you should have done so hopefully that helps uh, i know there's plenty of people out there that are dealing with some kind of ache or pain and it's kind of part of the game when you're trying to get stronger, but there are plenty of things that can be done to avoid it, come back from it, and learn from it.